Hey, today I have got an updated version of the Gorilla Tag tutorial, which uh, seems to be needed as I keep getting questions constantly about why it's not working. So here you go, uh, if you have any questions about anything I say today, there is an FAQ in the description and in the pinned comment. So make sure you read through all of those before you comment because I don't have time to reply to everyone's comment. Sorry. Uh, if you have any other questions that I don't have in there, I've also got a link to the Gorilla Tag modding discord down there too. If you're banned from there, I can't help you. I keep getting that question too, why am I banned? I don't know, I can't help you, I don't know the discord, I'm sorry. Anyways, let's get into it. We're gonna want to go over to our library. I'm assuming you already have Gorilla Tag installed. We're just gonna uninstall that really quickly, just in case you already have any mods already. And install. This will only take a few minutes. Make sure you're installing through AppLab if you're installing through an APK or SideQuest or whatever. It's not gonna work, just do it through AppLab. There we go, now I have it, I'm just gonna open it up. I don't know if this is necessary, but I like doing it to make sure. Here we are. Now we're in here, we can now leave. And let's switch over to the computer. Next, we're gonna to wanna to come over to this GitHub page right here, I'll have a link to it in the description. And make sure you pick the one that you need, so Windows, would be Windows, Windows Standard is Windows Standalone. This one is for Linux and this one is for Mac OS. So I'm just going to go with Windows. Make sure you open it when it's installed. Click yes when it asks for admin permissions. Accept the agreement. Install. Next and finish. Make sure you have open class patcher checked when you click finish there. Now it will start doing all of this, and you will be brought to this screen here, if you've done everything correct so far, uh, and reach for all this, but when you're done, click Patch My App. So as you can see, I've already got a few mods from before, I'm going to go and uninstall all of these really quickly because they're all old. You should do the same if you also have old ones. Make sure you also clear out your cosmetics. Again, I don't know if this is necessary, but I'm doing it to make sure that there's no compatibility issues between versions and whatnot. Next, we're going to want to go over to Discord. Now, I've got a link in the description. It will be underneath the GitHub link to link to the Gorilla Tag modding Discord. If you don't have access to that because you got banned or anything like that, I have no clue to help you. I don't own a Discord. I'm sorry. Now that we're in here, we have access to all of the mods that are currently available for the new version of Gorilla Tag. I'm going to get the important ones such as Monkey Computer. As you saw just there, all you have to do is click download and it will instantly bring you to this. If for whatever reason it brings you to the GitHub page, all you need to do is look for the releases tab on the side, click on that, download the Q mod. Now that we have the mod on our computer, we can just drag it and drop it inside of Quest Patcher. Wait for it to install everything. And if it's not enabled by default, make sure you go and enable all of those. Now, as there was an update yesterday or day before, there isn't many mods available. So just bear with the Discord. They will eventually get all the mods you want back. But not all of them. Uh, if a mod gets abandoned, then it will not be updated anymore. There's nothing you can do about that. Now, all we need to do is load back into our quest. Here we are back inside of our quest. Oh, it's doing something. Uh, and as you can see, Gorilla Tag now has this little uh, icon in the corner. And it says unofficial app. Don't worry about that, it's just because you've modded it. When you click open, it will show a little pop up that says restore app. Uh, don't click restore. I know it's big and blue, but don't click it. It just sets it back to being the old version of Gorilla Tag with no mods. And I think it sometimes even makes it so you can't load it up because of issues. So don't click restore. If you do, just uninstall it and go through this again. You're going to want to click open app. Click allow when it asks for access to things on your device. So I actually just had to go through and go through all of that again. Uh, uninstalling it for whatever reason. Something went wrong, so I'm trying it again. You know, allow everything again. And here we are, and we have our mods. Basically everything you need to know. All the mods that you want will become available over the next few days, because obviously there's just been an update. 
you can get the important one, which is this monkey computer. It helps you with seeing, you know, details. Anyway, hope this helped. Again, if you have any questions, there's an FAQ in the description. And I'll also leave it in the pinned comment. And if the question you have is not in there, either look at the article that I have linked to the bottom of the FAQ or join the Gorilla Tag Modding Discord. Again, if you're banned from there, can't do much about it. I've got a lot of people saying that they were banned from it. I, I don't know how to help you. If you're banned, you're banned. It's kind of how bans work. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you later.